Hello everyone, welcome to today's Novage webinar. Accelerate your design with VR and Unreal Engine with Mindesk. Most design processes are a team effort. Oftentimes, however, barriers like physical distance, miscommunication, and lack of software integration can slow down the process while deadlines approach. Sounds familiar? Let us introduce Mindesk, a digital workspace where CAD modeling and render are simultaneous and virtual reality enables the interaction between remote teammates. Today's webinar presenter, Gabriele Sorrento, is the CEO of Mindesk and Director of Action Technologies. He has a master's degree in architectural engineering from the Polytechnic University of Milan among other things. And in 2014, he founded MindDesk. Outside, the war, outside work, Gabriele loves outdoor activities like swimming, hiking, and skiing. Who doesn't? Now, let me tell you a little bit about Novage. Novage is changing the way designers purchase 3D software, offering more choices, more freedom, best advice, faster service with no headaches. Check us out at novage.com and this is the part of the page where you can find Mindesk. And now without further ado, I'll switch to Gabriele's screen so it can start showing what Mindesk is all about. Take it away, Gabriele. Thank you, Barbara. Um, can you confirm yep. you can uh, see my screen? We can. Great. Okay, so I put the I start the presentation. Um, thank you very much for the introduction. Uh, today we'll talk about uh, real time rendering. We'll talk about Mindesk, which is a product of Vection Technologies. Uh, Vection Technologies is an international company um, which is focused on uh, real time application for enterprises and professional application. Um, our application uh, helps designer in a wide range of, of, of the industry, including automotive, engineering, construction, also architecture and interior designer. And today we're gonna talk about um, a few uh, technical problems that many uh, designers are familiar with. Uh, including the fact that um, everybody is rushing in uh, deadlines and time is often a key factor to win projects. Um, my email address is hello at mindeskvr.com and on www.mindeskvr.com you can definitely find uh, more information about this uh, presentation today. So again, uh, the topic today is uh, architectural visualization. We all love when we're able to express our design. Uh, myself, I, I come from the, an architectural background. I used to be um, an architect before being an entrepreneur and uh, uh, a technologist. And I know how important it is to express our ideas, our project, because at the end of the day, this is the product that we're selling, uh, a good design. So nailing down the spaces, the light, the material is absolutely essential. Unfortunately, um, we are constrained by tight deadlines, uh, but also uh, by technical, um, issues like um, making these things work implies continuous file exchanges, uh, implies having a good 3D asset uh, library that needs to be continuously elaborated. And in general, it's uh, hard to achieve a good quality when you had to iterate several times to reach the ideal design, especially, you know, early on, in the in the early conceptual stages, um, this this like taking having a good quality takes a lot of time, and um, and it's hard to conciliate the two aspects. This is where real time rendering technology uh, can really help the designer. Uh, real time rendering means that um, the computer 
is helping the designer visualizing uh, in real time their project as they build it. And there are um, a few a few software that can do this. Um, one of the best in class render engine is called Unreal Engine and is a real time rendering engine. Many of you are probably already familiar with this name because uh, Unreal Engine is the most spread engine in uh, game development and field development. And recently, it has been they adopt more and more in the architectural field. Um, Unreal can count on a large community of developers and artists and makers that support the engine by creating 3D assets that are available on uh, uh, the Unreal Marketplace. And I'll show you later um, what you can do with these assets, uh, which are counted in thousands, if not hundreds of thousands. We're talking about material 3D models and mega scans, which are basically real objects that has been 3D scanned and, and created um, you know, a digital twin that you can use in your own 3D scene. So Mindesk uh, is now able to connect a real engine to your favorite CAD software, in particular to Rhinoceros, um, to achieve a photorealistic visualization as early as on in the design stage. But let, let's check it out. So usually this is the process uh, that goes from uh, design to visualization. Uh, on the left, we start from the CAD software. Here I mention Rhino and SOLIDWORKS because uh, those are the currently um, supported software by Mindesk. And uh, from here, we can take our project into Unreal. And from Unreal, we can create one first render and then many variants uh, of the same project. The problem is that um, without the proper infrastructure, taking your project into Unreal could be time consuming. And also, this is not uh, any iterative process, uh, naturally. However, uh, with Mindesk, you can create an infrastructure and a work environment where the transition from CAD to Unreal is immediate, is absolutely taking no time, and is continuous. Because the core technology of Mindesk is a bi-directional lively that connects software in real time. So as you edit your, your CAD project, no matter how, how complex it is, uh, it is immediately visualized in the beautiful render window of Unreal Engine. And this opens uh, new possibilities, like for example, the possibility to um, change part of the project uh, in terms of geometry, but also material and lighting, and create variation very fast. And this process uh, is definitely helpful internally when you are designing and reviewing your project with your uh, peers or your boss, as well as when you are talking to your client, because now you can involve your client in the design process and validate ideas uh, with them at a very fast pace without wearing to um, recreate a new visualization uh, which often takes several days or, or weeks but everything can be done on the go on on the spot so mindesk is a real-time platform that uh, solves the the real-time rendering problem but can also do uh, other things for example it can connect CAD software to AR and VR um, devices for real-time visualization and immersive collaboration. Um, I will show you um, a bit of this technology at the end of this presentation. I want to present now a case study uh, of a designer that uh, 
use this technology to design the spaces of a museum. We're talking about uh, Daniele Barone and uh, Giuseppe Massoni. Let me play this video really quick. So this space is an outdoor space of a museum that has this uh, palm covered by this um, uh, ceiling. And there is a pattern on the ceiling created by a number of spheres. As you can see, the spheres are a dynamic object from Rhino and Grasshopper, but are dynamically linked in uh, Unreal so that they can interact with reflection, shadows, and light. Here, we are changing the pattern. And as you can see, the pattern is immediately updated in the Unreal scene. So previously, um, in order to visualize these different patterns, you had to re-import the whole project while now using Mindesk real-time connection, uh, these changes can be done on the fly. And this enables to evaluate the project itself very quickly. This is another example. Uh, this is another room of the same uh, museum. In this case, um, the focus is on, uh, on this gla glazed wall and uh, uh, there is a, a sunscreen that is filtering the, the sunlight into the room. The sunscreen is made of vertical and horizontal blades that can be uh, changed in number, density, and orientation. And everything is controlled in real time from Grasshopper, but you can see the result in Unreal. The advantage of having Grasshopper in Unreal collaborating in tandem is that Unreal solves light very well. Uh, it doesn't just solve the uh, shadows and lighting level, but also uh, you can see the ray filtering through the surfaces and the refraction that that creates. And you can evaluate different lighting conditions very fast as you change the um, the geometry of the, the blades. Um, if we move a little back, we can also see the impact of these design choices in the general space and how the shadows are, uh, the shadow pattern uh, evolves on the, in, in, this, in this room. This kind of study is uh, pretty advanced, but can save a lot of time uh, when you are uh, designing such a sensible space as a museum. And, and this is uh, true for a museum as well as an office space or a residential space. Basically everywhere where the light factor is uh, key um, for the benefit of the, of the final user. Um, in this section, we see how easy it is to control Unreal directly from Rhino. The two camera can be synchronized. And so we can find the perfect spot to uh, start configuring this space. So here from Rhino, we can insert panel, uh, which can be located in, in the proper space, uh, as well as rotated and edited in real time. Uh, by doing so, so the, the, the consequence uh, of this technology is that you can keep um, your Rhino file very lightweight. As you can see here, um, the geometry are very simple, but in Unreal Engine, we can have a high definition version of the same library. So uh, this makes all very easy to configure uh, your space and to customize it even further. Moving forward, uh, I would like to I would like to give you uh, a live demo of this technology. So now I will switch screen.
Um, Barbara, can you confirm that you're now able to see uh, my second screen yes. with Rhino and Unreal? Yeah. yeah. Perfect. Thank you very much. All right. So here we have uh, Rhino and Unreal running simultaneously on my laptop. I'm currently using uh, Razor Blade uh, model 2018 with uh, an NVIDIA uh, GTX card. I think it's the 1060. Uh, this is to say that for like, despite being a very advanced software, uh, it can run on, on average laptop and it runs very well. So, uh, here we can see the, the, the two cameras are uh, super fluid and directly controlled. I can also take control over the camera directly in Unreal. In this case, uh, the Unreal camera will be independent from, from Rhino. And uh, we can start seeing how we can customize this project a little bit. So first, I will hide the, uh, the curves, OK. And now we can um, interact a little bit with these sun shaders. So here we can change the density of the shaders. As you can see, we can see uh, on the right side Unreal rendering this uh, in real time. This parameter gives the shaders a little bit more of a random position. From the, from the interior, we can appreciate how the changes are going to affect lighting inside. In fact, if we change the steps, I'll give it a little bit more space. Changing the number of steps and density will have a direct impact on the um, shadow and, and luminosity inside the um, inside the house. And this is how um, parametric modeling can real can be really achieved, even in a photorealistic ambient like this. Um, another Another technique involves direct manipulation of geometries. Um, this is a second uh, shading system. Um, it's a bit different. Uh, it's a, just a metallic, extruded metallic blade from which we can control the, the profile. So in Rhino here, we have a, a side view of this project. If we enable the, the curve, we can see how changing the profile would affect the overall project. So we can make the curve a little bit flatter or giving a, a more uh, rounded shape. And from here, on Grasshopper, keeping control of, of course, the angle of the whole system and the number uh, and the distance between the blades. So the combination of geometric and parametric modeling into a real-time render gives the absolute freedom to the designer um, to obtain the exact result they're looking for. Let's explore a little better how material work in uh, Rhino, Grasshopper, and Unreal. So here we created uh, some material 
that have been assigned to geometries. When you start a mind desk session, uh, there is this tool called uh, Material Table. And the Material Table automatically reads all the material from Rhino. And uh, from this table, you can remap Rhino material into Unreal. So for example, uh, we assign the, the floor level uh, a concrete material that we can now remap. So if we go in the content browser, um, we can select our favorite material folder. I like the two emotion material because they're pretty high quality. Uh, they are available for free and, uh, and they overall look very good. Um, we can, for example, use a con the concrete library and uh, kind of override the, the floor, uh, the interior floor layer. So as you can see, this is um, the change happens uh, in no time. Um, when I change this uh, floor interior layer, layer, of course, any geometry on that layer will be updated with the new material. And uh, another example of this uh, is the table. I have assigned previously uh, a material, uh, a real material on this table. So now, if I change the geometry of this table, like for example, I want to make it shorter or I want to change um, the shape of, of this face. As you can see, we can uh, work with geometries in real time without um, having to reassign the material. The material will adapt on the new geometry while we are, we are working on it. Uh, for example, we can also rotate this, this phase. Again, uh, working the ge with the geometry will not affect the material in a negative way as everything is kept in, uh, in sync. Okay, I think this covers uh, pretty much the key features uh, of this system. Let's switch back to our presentation. Okay, so to summarize uh, what we just see, um, the key aspect of this uh, system are skip processing step, saving time, and configuring your space very quickly. There is another case study I would like to talk about. And this is our one of our clients. Uh, it's Haterwick Studio in uh, London. Um, this studio is very popular among architects because they work at um, super important projects like the new Google campus. And uh, one of the problems they solve using Mindesk is um, landscaping. In fact, managing uh, and designing landscape to be a very complex effort as you have to deal with um, many assets like the tree in a, in a park and um, 
very complex geometry like a neighborhood or a city so um there is you probably cannot hear the air the audio from this uh video so i will skip to uh forward to to the actual operative stage but here they were able to um basically arrange trees in this part just by moving them in rhino rhino had the simplified version of the trees while Unreal has the, the, the final asset. And they were able to uh, figure out the best arrangement for uh, the whole project in, uh, in a few clicks. Um, in general, without Minders, what you should do instead is to create um, many alternatives in, uh, in Rhino and then using tools like DataSmith to import every time. And each iteration would would take uh, several minutes or hours. So uh, again, skipping this process uh, is what ge is generating the uh, the time call uh, the time saving. All right, this pretty much summarized all the points I wanted to cover. Um, if you're interested in, in learning more about Mindesk, I would like to um, give you notice of a few resources that are available. First, of course, our website is mindeskvr.com. This is our website, and from here you will uh, find some general uh, information. But from the resource panel, you can have access to our learning center and knowledge base. So the learning center is a page dedicated to whoever wants to learn using Mindesk. It features some selected um, tutorials from our uh, YouTube page and uh, guides you step-by-step step in the use of even the more advanced features in Mindesk. The knowledge base instead is our online user manual. So here is where you can find very detailed information about every single function uh, in this system. We are also available on foodforrhino.com. If you go on Food for Rhino, Mindesk is on, on the top line and can be downloaded. Uh, very easily. We keep this page updated with the new releases. It just released Mindus 2021 uh, indeed. That includes also uh, some new integration in terms of augmented reality and mixed reality. And speaking of uh, mixed reality, I'll show you a, a video very soon. But first, let me also mention uh, our YouTube channel. So YouTube, if you type youtube.com slash C slash Mindesk, or if you just search Mindesk in YouTube, the first result is our channel. Here we have several playlists, including um, some uh, uh, tutorial in the design class running on the Unreal Live link, but also use cases and uh, other experimental video, uh, which we're sharing with our community. And finally, of course, if you need to uh, ask anything, or if you are interested in purchasing Mindesk, you can write us an email at hello at mindeskvr.com. Now I want to give you a sneak peek in uh, some other function, cool function of Mindesk, and uh, in particular, our latest augmented reality integration with Barrio. So this integration makes it really easy using Rhino and Grasshopper uh, with Vario and HoloLens Mixer Reality. 
so you can have a fully immersive experience of your project without uh, losing the connection with uh, uh, your surrounding area. For example, like an office in this case. The project can be edited directly in uh, augmented reality using um, some virtual reality controller. The advantage here is the possibility to directly manipulate the geometry, uh, which is a more natural and uh, immersive way to interact with your project. Of course, this experience can be individual or uh, collaborative, so you can include your teammates or customers as well. And that's pretty much it. Um, thank you very much for, for joining today. Thank um, you. Again, thank you. Thank you, Gabriele. Um, yeah, we're keeping uh, the broadcast open for a few minutes just to wait if you have any question. I'm also showing my screen where you can see um, where to find my desk uh, inside Novage. Just type in novage.com. It's easy to, to search. And if you're looking for a real rendering solution for Rhino, this is amazing. So thank you so much, um, Gabriele. I don't see questions so far, so I'm just gonna remind everybody that um, this broadcast has been recorded and you can find it again on YouTube and Vimeo later on today. And we just uh, received a question. Are there plans to include compatibility with Vectorworks? So, uh... Mindus is designed to be horizontally scalable on many CAD software and BIM software as well. Um, we are working to integrate a BIM software this year that has been, uh, hasn't been announced yet. Um, I would like to invite to follow us on our uh, Facebook page because uh, there will will announce uh, new software compatibility as they be rolled out. Um, so I cannot answer that question uh, specifically today, but for sure there will be more and more software integrated into this platform for either virtual reality and real-time rendering. Well, great news. Stay tuned then. Uh, thank you so much, uh, Gabriele, and thank, thank you. everybody for joining us today. Have a great rest of the day, everybody. Bye-bye.